What's up guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all having an amazing day. Had a great day. So today we are taking a look at iOS 13. It's a bit different kind of video. We are actually not taking a look at what the best features are. But how you can actually install iOS 13. How you can yourself have iOS 13 on your device. So I will actually be showing two methods how to do this. One is where you are an Apple developer. And the second one, you are not an Apple developer. So how you can actually get the iOS file. Now without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. Now there are lots of things that goes into this. One thing uh, is you do need an iPhone or iPod. Uh, it doesn't work on iPads anymore. Now I highly suggest you don't install iOS 13 on your main device. Now this is actually my main device. I don't have iOS 13 on this. This is just running normally. I get normal updates the way you guys would. Uh, and this is my secondary device, more like my YouTube device that I use for the development stuff. So this has iOS 13 installed on it. Now saying that, let's just say you really want iOS 13, you don't have an extra device to install it on, then yes, you can obviously go ahead and install it on your main device. It's just something me or if you just talk to other developers, they won't suggest installing iOS, any beta versions on your main device. So next up, we need a Mac. Now it doesn't have to be like the latest MacBooks, iMacs, anything. It just needs to be a Mac which can run Xcode. Obviously, if you want to install the new operating system, you can do that. And if you do that, you don't need Xcode. But if you don't do that, just I would say just download Xcode from developer.apple.com. Go and download and download Xcode. Now, once you have Xcode, what you want to do is you want to open it up and let it install all the components. Once that's done, just close it down because all you really need is Xcode to be on your computer, have that system files on your Mac. So up next, the third thing that you need to do is the iOS 13 file itself. Now there are a few ways to actually get it. Uh, Apple doesn't really give for free. You do need to be an Apple developer to be able to get the early release like beta version. So if you are an Apple developer, it's the same place where you got the Xcode from. Just go to iOS 13, pick your device and download the ISP. I think it's IPSW file, right? Now, once you have that IPSW file, you're all good. Now, let's just say you're not an Apple developer, right? Uh, you don't want to pay for the $100 US dollars yearly just to try something out. Well, there are lots of people who will download these profiles and put them on their blogs and websites and all that kind of stuff. I have searched few or more like one that I know is pretty good. So uh, more like safer, safer site. So I will put a link in the description below. Just click on that, find your device and download the iOS 13 IPSW file. Now, I will say, it's again, it's a third party site. It's not directly by Apple. So just be aware what you're clicking on, all that kind of stuff. But once you have that IPSW file, just save it on desktop download folder wherever you want to. Okay, so now once you're all ready, let's install iOS 30. Now before you actually do that, I will suggest make sure, even if it's your like just an ordinary phone, not your main phone, make sure you have a backup of the phone. What you're going to do is you're going to open iTunes and open the phone settings. You can easily do that by clicking on the phone icon on the top left corner of iTunes. Once you do that, make sure your phone is connected. Now look on the right side where it says software update or your phone information. There will be a button saying update. You want to hold down the option key on your keyboard. And while you're holding down the option key, press update. What this will do is it will give you a pop-up saying which file do you want to use. And this is now where you actually locate the file that you just downloaded. The IPSW file, the iOS setting file. Pick that, choose and let iTunes do its thing. Now it might take a while to me it took me about half an hour i would say make sure don't disconnect your phone because if you do disconnect your phone you might just lose everything until it's all done once everything is done once you once you get the getting started screen on your iphone complete that guide and that's when i would say disconnect the cable and now you have ios 13 on your phone and now you're all set this is exactly how you put ios 13 before the actual release date now let's just say uh, just a side note you don't want to install ios 13 from those unknown websites or like get the file from the unknown websites you can wait till july apple will be releasing a public beta then so if you want to wait just download it from the website then so i hope you like this video if you did make sure there's a thumbs up if you didn't you can press thumbs down have any questions concerns problems feel free to leave a comment below subscribe if you haven't already done so press the bell icon you get notified other than that thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video